Hey there, my name is Michelle and welcome to my channel. I make time lapse videos of how I did my paintings. For this video, I'm doing a white long fur dog's portrait. I am painting on an A4 size stretched canvas, primed with gesso and a layer of oil primer. I sketch with a colored charcoal pencil on the canvas. My reference photo is not a high resolution photo. In the reference photo, I cannot see the pupil, but I feel I need to paint it out otherwise the eyes would look dull and lifeless. So I roughly estimate where the pupil is supposed to be and paint that in. Same with the nose, the right side on the reference photo is a complete darkness. So in such cases, either we can refer to other dog's photos for reference or just estimate how it's supposed to look based on our experience. For the tongue, the easiest way is to put in patches of different tone of color, then I gently blend them together. Here I am putting a grey color around the eyes, very gently blend it with the black right at the edge so that it transitions from black to grey ever so slightly. Next I am adding the dark area on the fur. For this I am painting the area a little more than what I see in the reference photo. That is because I am still going to add on another layer of lighter color on top of it. And the dark color that shows through will look very natural. I just want to mention here that if you would like to watch a longer version of this painting process is available on my Patreon page. The link will be in the description. Now for the eyes, here I am painting the pupil and the outermost area with the same black and a very mild transition into a dark grey. Along with the reflection, the eyeball will then have the feel of a ball shape. The left receives less light, the shape of the pupil should not be as distinct. Thus, I slowly blend the black in the pupil outwards to eliminate the line of the pupil. Just like the eyes, the left nostril should be darker than the right nostril. The difference is very very minute, so I need to be very light-handed when putting in the grey to portray the area that curves outward from the nostrils. The center line of the tongue is sunken, hence the dark color. As it curves outwards on both sides, it raises up in height, hence the two sides along the center line receive different amount of light because of this. The side facing the light source should be lighter than the other. For the ears, I paint the inner area and move on to paint its fur on its face and body. I let the ears dry and continue to paint the fur the next day. Here I am adding a bit more dark fur so that the difference of value will be more pronounced later when I add in a whiter colour.
The color on the ears are not completely dry yet, but dry enough for me to work on top of it without much issue. I paint the fur and smudge it to make it look softer. After which I am adding on more fur that's more visible so that it looks like it has a few layers of fur. It's probably not very visible on screen, but I am adding pure white for the brightest area. Lastly, adding the tiny white hair beneath its nose and its whiskers. As the layer beneath is dry, when I paint the whiskers too thickly, I can just wipe it away. And the painting is done. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.